Okay, today is November 16th, 2017. This is a litter of five Sheepadoodle puppies. Four boys, one girl. Uh, they are out of Arcady. Old English Sheepdog, she was born here. The daughter of Naomi and Gino. And full sister of the same litter to uh, Sheila, who we will be retiring. Katie seems to handle puppies better than Sheila does. Um, but she also had a smaller litter. So that could have made a difference, but her litter is huge. Her puppies are huge. They are only four and a half weeks old, um, but they are biggins. Yes, they are. They're biggins. Um, we have one girl, four boys. She only had five puppies. She did not have any other puppies that were lost, stillborn, or anything. Um, she just had five puppies, and they are huge, and they are beautiful. And I know a lot of people have questioned, um, but my husband had two witness breedings with RG. Um, with he had switched the girls. We did do we did have Sheila with RG um, and Katie with Boaz originally, but he swapped them for I, I, whatever reason. Uh, I think it had to do with what was going on as far as other girls that were breeding at the time. Um, but anyway, this is. But um, RG's litter and um, actually the small litter might be because of the fact that we had a little bit too much going on for RG at the time <laughs> so poor guy anyway um, but they are healthy puppies they are big puppies and they are doing fabulous and so is mom okay so just wanted to kind of give you a quick introduction there is our blue boy our dark blue boy um, he and the black collared boy, they have a little bit more wavy coat. Okay, that's the black collared boy right there. And this is the blue collared boy licking the ear of his, uh, let's see, who is this? This is the, well, it was light blue. I think I accidentally put gray on him, but yeah, light blue is, is this boy right here. And I do know that I had the pictures swap with the color collar, collar colors um, on the original pictures that I took. Um, go by markings they are very distinctly different okay uh, this of course is the biggest puppy in the litter this is our brown collared boy all right he's a huge one yes you are aren't you big boy daddy waging see there's his brown collar all right I did switch the collars last night that is our one and only girl right there she is the pink collared girl they do have ID names that correspond with their um, uh, collar colors, but again, it's more for my data uh, base and record keeping. Um, most of the names, of course, do get changed. Aren't you sweet? Yes, she's a sweet girl. Hi, big boy. Yeah, this is our light blue collar boy. Yeah. Really sweet letter. It's our dark, dark blue. And again, the most distinctive difference is um, would be in coats, uh, the blue collar and the black collar, which is right here. He was over there going potty in the potty box like a good little boy. Got a little white stripe on his bump. Um, there he is. Hello, sweetheart. They have a little bit more of a wavy coat. Of course, these are their puppy coats, so they always do change. And, of course, it depends on your grooming um, preferences as well as far as what their coats will be when they get older. Uh, the majority of people find that their coats are not manageable at full length and therein generally will choose to have them trimmed. Um, and to what length you have them trimmed is how often you take them to your groomer and how cooperative your groomer is. Um, but a lot of people, I like when they groom, you know, clip maybe to an inch or so, so you still have a coat, um, but it's manageable. Now, if you let it get matted down to the roots, then of course your groomer will basically say, sorry, but we have to shave them down. Um, I really work hard at trying to maintain a doodle face. I don't want a poo face on my doodles. So again, it's all up to you and your relationship with your groomer, uh, the end result of their first grooming, um, and whether they have done what you've asked them to do. I highly recommend, if you have a Facebook account, joining uh, Love L-U-V Sheepadoodles and Sheepadoodle Lovers. They're two different groups um, of a multitude of Sheepadoodle owners, and many have shared beautiful photos um, of their Sheepadoodles that have been well-groomed. 
Um, and I would take a screenshot of those photos and share them with your groomer and say, this is what I want. Um, it, that's the easiest way for a groomer to try and do exactly what you want. I mean, myself, I was once in the floral business where I preserved bridal bouquets after the wedding. The only way that I could recreate as close to what the uh, bouquet was at the time after the flowers had been preserved was a photograph that I took of the bouquet before I pulled it apart to preserve the flowers. So um, it does work. A photograph is definitely worth a thousand words. Um, so do try to be considerate of your groomer as well because again if you allow that coat to get out of hand and get matted down to the skin there's really not a lot they can do um so they have to be able to uh, do their job appropriately but you also have to be able to do your job appropriately in preparing your puppy or your doggy okay um, these guys are not necessarily available. I know I get new inquiries every day because of the multitude of litters that we did have this fall. Uh, people thinking that we have puppies available. Um, we are still working through our selections and through our uh, waiting list. I have been on the road uh, for the past week and it will continue today being Thursday and it will continue right straight through the weekend. I've got to be in Pittsburgh tomorrow, Maryland back on Saturday. Um, and I'll be staying through and coming home on Sunday. Uh, and then, of course, we're all into Thanksgiving week. Um, but I will be continuing to try to communicate and correspond uh, even during Thanksgiving week. So just we are having company. Uh, we just ask for your continued patience. We will get everybody assigned. Um, and if you, you know, I, I, I'm going to, I unfortunately, I push things ahead on our last selections uh, to the final group of three. Um, because of the fact that I was not hearing from anybody and those that I were contacting uh, did not wish to take a puppy from that litter or those litters and that was Jojo and Sheila's um, and I finally just pulled the string and said anybody that is interested I put it on posted it on my website it wasn't up there very long um, because I had immediate response and so I immediately uh, assigned those last litters and we did have couple of people a little bit upset. Um, I want to try to back away from that to some extent. I mean, again, time is of the essence for us because I need to get all the puppies assigned so I can determine where and when they are going and um, where I have to meet people. I have to schedule appointments, schedule deliveries, which is a feat in itself. Um, so please understand our side of it as well. Um, we just ask that you do reach out to us, um, especially as we get close to your name. If you see that we're within a couple of people uh, and we're towards the end of the list, let me know. Are you interested in those remaining puppies or not? Okay, please keep tabs on us. Um, everybody knows when the puppies are born. You should be watching. I, you know, I know I do have a lot of friendly stalkers, and I do realize that other people do have lives and that you can't necessarily be stalking all the time. But uh, if you're anxious for a puppy and you're really ready, please do keep a daily contact with our website updates and um, keeping in touch with me as much as possible. Um, I have had difficulty, of course, keeping up with correspondence just because I have not been home. I do not answer emails or texts while I'm driving. Um, and seldom do I stop long enough to do so in returning. Yesterday I was in Columbus, Ohio. Um, so that in itself was, when all it was said and done, an eight-hour round trip. So it was the majority of my day. Uh, tomorrow will be probably five-hour, actually because I'm meeting some folks earlier, it'll probably be a five, five or six-hour round trip, even though it's only two hours to Pittsburgh. Um, so again, I just ask for your understanding. By the time I do get home and off the road, I'm exhausted. Uh, today I was in Maryland and back again, and um, but I am still trying to do. I had to pay bills. <laughs> we all have to do that once in a while, so I had to stop long enough to pay bills and take care of some domestic stuff as well. So anyway, uh, I do realize that we had quite a few puppies at one time, and again, I appreciate your patience and understanding. So for those interested in Katie's litter, these are her puppies, and uh, I appreciate your viewing our puppies.
again black uh, this is black cow no this is uh what was light blue it's light blue gray i get those two colors mixed up oftentimes one the same dark blue that is our light pink our only girl and i believe our black boy has just crashed back there poor baby he's tired tired of me running my mouth can't blame him and then our brown boy and he likewise is tired of me running my mouth so Thank you very much for your patience, your understanding. Uh, sometimes I find it's just best for me to try to communicate uh, everything that's going on from our perspective through our videos, and um, I appreciate it. appreciate you, and again, your patience and understanding, and may God bless you.